Here we are in video eight of making my LED uh, illuminated letter. Um, and I'm, I'm finishing the A here. Basically, my 3D model is good to go. All I need to do now is, is uh, save this um, in a format that will uh, let me um, 3D print it. Well, first of all, you know what, let's save it now. Uh, version description, this, this versioning function um, included in Fusion 360, which is very, very nice. So I'm going to call this um, fin finished, <laughs> finished letter A version one. I like version numbers. Um, and uh, that's now that's now saved uh, in the cloud. Um, and now I'm going to, going to go to make. I'm going to go to 3D print. Um, it says, what do I want to 3D print? Well, even though we've got two extrusions, remember that um, this second extrusion was joined onto the first extrusion, so we only have the one body to consider here. So I'm going to choose that body. That's what I want to 3D print. Um, high refinement. I'm going to deselect, send to a specific 3D print utility and click on OK. And then now what I'm going to do is... Um, save it to an appropriate location. So at the moment I'm going to go to uh, my tutorials location. Let's just see LED display box. No, Mr. Shaw's examples, LED display box. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, I'll save it in there. Illuminated A, um, version 1, version 2. Okay, that's version 1. Um, as an STL, a standard tessellation language file. I'm going to click on OK. And that's it. We are good to go. Um, I might actually just do that again um, and just show you the preview mesh. There we are. So this effectively shows you the geometric detail that is being generated um, as an STL file. And then we're going to be taking this into uh, our Zortrax um, software and basically um, preparing the CAD file for 3D printing. In fact, I think I'll show you that. Why not? Let me show you that. So I'm going to cancel that, but that's that's the data that's actually sent out. Okay. Let's have a see. That's what I want. Okay. Just loading. Should have had this loaded in advance, shouldn't I, really? But there you go. <laughs> ah, voila. Okay, that's the time when you want to pause your video, isn't it? Uh, no, not now. Thank you very much. Okay, we've got the M200, not the Plus. That's what we've got right there. Okay, so we need to add in our file. I will pause now. I'm going to find the file. We'll drop it in then see what happens. Okay, so I've found it. Here we go. I'm going to drop that STL file in. And there it is. So, uh, in its current format, that... Well, we'll go ahead and we'll try and do a 3D print as it looks right now. And you will see what happens. Um, so, start off. This is a fused deposition modeling 3D printer, which means that um, basically um, it's going to squirt ABS plastic out of a nozzle. Um, and when you get overhangs like this here, um, there needs to be scaffolding in place that stops this uh, extruded section from kind of just falling away. Um, uh, so there's no, so, so the, yeah, it needs support material. Um, and uh, I'm going to go with the default settings here, I think. That all looks fine. Let's go ahead and do a preview. So this is going to take a little bit of time just working out how the whole system is going to work. Okay, and here we go. And I was talking here about support material, and this grey stuff is what I mean by support material. Any point where uh, the software feels that the um, the ABS plastic is going to kind of just fall away with gravity, it's having to put these support structures in. And these grey support structures is also extruded ABS plastic, but it's a very lightweight extrusion. It's, it, it's designed to kind of break away with your fingers, and most of the time it does. But you can see that that's not a very efficient build because because of all the support material. And if I look at the settings here, that is going to take pretty much 12 hours. So what I want to do is go back there. And what I want to do is rotate this so that it's kind of face down on the build platform. So let's go back again. Let's select this. Let's come to our rotate model features. And I'm going to basically, I think this is what I want to do. 
Yeah, I've got to erase my settings there. Right, yep, there we are. I'm going to bring this back to 270, okay, which is 360 minus 90. So now it's just flat down on the raft. There it is. Okay, marvellous. Uh, let's now go to print settings. Let's go with exactly the same print settings and see what happens. So remember, the last time it was a 12-hour print with lots of support material. And this time, hopefully... There we are. There's absolutely no support material at all, and this is taking eight hours, which is still a considerable amount of time, but um, it's 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 two thirds of the time. Um, and I didn't look at the amount of material usage, but I assume the material usage will probably be 33% less as well. So that's ready for me now to send to the 3D printer. I've got my little cutout there for my a micro USB socket. It's all looking beautiful. Um, and in my next video, I shall show you what it looks like finished.